TikTok is holding a competition known as TikTok Live Fest, where essentially creators go live on the platform and the top two creators get flown out to America. I believe that's how it works. I'm not exactly in tune with TikTok Live because I have a life. But nonetheless, this means that people who don't have a life, like Alphaba, are coming out and doing stupid shit. So I get views. So we're going to talk about that today because it's not just Alphaba who's come back out into the woodworks. It's also Chelsea Liar, aka Sila, a character we haven't seen in a while. So let's just get straight into the madness. Straight away, we can see the reactions this competition is causing in Alphaba. Um, it's nothing really new. She's sort of just crying like a little baby, uh, being fucking stupid and weird. Just look at me, bitch. I can't believe it, man. I swear, I'm not coming on. I'm going to delete my account. Root starting. You get me to fucking America right now. As I'm going. I'm fucking going! Please. Please, Chelsea Liar, please go, please. No one wants you here. Please leave the platform. Please go back to your middle-aged life. You probably have a child that I'm unaware of. Please, please stop coming on my timeline. You could go. You could go. No one needs you, please. You lot, get me down and get me to America. Roots. If not, I'm fucking coming off. Yeah, guys, same applies here. If you uh, don't get me to America right now, I'm actually going to delete my account. Uh, no more commentary slot. Knowing you lot, you'd probably fucking celebrate. You all hate me. You have pissed off so many creators because do you know what? The no, best TikTok bitch is one TikTok. I kind of rate Elphaba here. Like, she knows she's pissing Chelsea Liar off by winning. And I fully back her on this front. I never thought I'd say I back Elphaba here because I fucking hate Chelsea Liar, man. Like, for as much of a fucking freak as Elphaba is and like disgusting and weird, her, Chelsea Liar's voice, man, just, I just want to wrap my hands around her throat. I can't say that. I can't threaten a TikToker's life because she has an annoying voice and she's a bit irritating. I'm big, I'm higher than you, darling. Piss off. <laughs> yes. It's quite ironic she celebrates being higher than Chelsea Liar in the rankings when she is literally higher because people hate her more than Chelsea Liar. That is the direct correlation. The higher you are in TikTok rankings, the more people hate you and the more they want to make fun of you. I, I find it ironic. I find it ironic how it works, how the more you're hated, the more you're rewarded on TikTok. Let's keep going. I'm not famous, but I'm grateful for my community. Listen. You're grateful for your community's wallets, you mean? And also, I just want to address this. This is a big thing that Chelsea the Art says. Like, you can hear her in the back say it. She's always saying she's famous. And you're fucking naught. You're not, bro. In the grand scheme of things, no one fucking knows you. You are you are famous in our little island. Even then, barely famous. Like, you're recognised occasionally, and it's for the wrong reasons. It's not because people aren't coming up going, Oh, Chelsea the Art, I love your videos. They come up and go, you're, you're a fucking weirdo. You're a freak. I don't like you. Please give me a photo so I can mock you. That is all of you TikTok dickheads. And I, I, I just love how none of you see it. I just love how none of you see it. It's so funny to me. Who cares about there we you? go. Nobody. What could you do in America? You couldn't do what me and Maudine's doing. Oh, darling, I can. I can wear a ball gown. I can look gorgeous. I'll, I'll wear I'll walk the red carpet. And you know what? I'll vlog everything. And I'll be more viral than you, darling, because look at my video. It's got 1.7 million views. Go look at my video. Okay, first off, Chelsea the Art makes a good point. What the fuck could Alphaba do in America? But I also posit that question to Chelsea the Art. What could either of you do in America? What the fuck are you going to do there that you aren't doing here? You're just going to be a nuisance in another country for a while, and then you'll come back. You know what? Actually, I'm personally going to fund both your trips to America. We're going to pull a James Corden. I want to send you both over there. I never want to see you again. I want to disgrace you from this island. Also... I'd like to mention again, bringing up the viewpoint, like Alphabet talks about her 1.7 million views. Those are not good views. Those are hate views. Those are people watching and going, I don't like you. I dislike you. God, everything in this whole fucking live stream, like, makes me want to, like, hurt both of them. Because they're both so stupid, man. Why is everyone on TikTok live a fucking brain lit? <clears throat> oh, a bitch like me's got to go after this match. Oh, Roots. Oh. Nostril. Say what you will, it's a fucking spot on impression, like even down to the nostril flares. I always find that weird about Chelsea Liar. I've never really brought it up, but her features are so big. Her eyes are so wide, her nostrils are so big. I don't know what she's taking, but she's built fucking crazily, bro. I want some. Like, how many lines is Chelsea Liar sniffing? Let's be real. Those nostrils are built for some fucking coke. And before you all have a go at me saying I'm being classist, I'm on the same class as Chelsea Liar. I can get away with it. Also, 
We both live in the UK. It, it's no, sniffing coke is just normal here, I'm going to be honest. It really did surprise me how fucking normal drug culture over here is. Like, people will just be doing lines on their night out. And, like, I, it just amazes me. So, I, I think I get away with it. A live festive clapper. Live fest clapper. I'll give you a follow back. Alphabet, please go to bed, man. No one wants you on this early. No one gives a fuck. It is not that crucial that you get up or you drop down to number two at two in the fucking morning. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to make this video fucking ages ago when all this was first happening, but I couldn't be asked because I found out about it all at like 11 p.m. and I was fucking tired. So I just didn't bother. I'm doing it now because I want to. Alphabet, you can have the same mindset. Maybe, maybe I'm just a fucking idiot. Maybe Elf is just more dedicated to the grind than I am. But I kind of value my fucking health and the fact that I'm knackered over getting some views on youtube.com that being said please do make this video bang like the fucking pool breach and the other elf for one because uh last few have done kind of mid uh. Pardon you. Elfa once again channeling her inner man child and burping like a fucking baby, but, but, she said pardon me this time. We've seen some progression. Character progression, if you will. She's learning. Growing. No, she's not. It was probably someone in chat. She said pardon you. But Elphaba's a fucking idiot, so we'll never know if she meant to say pardon me and she just thought that was how it said. I don't sleep it where I am. I let you force myself awake. I forced myself awake. You'd never see me doing that for you lot. Fuck me. That just sounds like effort. I'll make videos when I'm good and fucking ready, not when something happens. I mean, it doesn't even fucking matter. You could just go to another slot commentary YouTuber to find out your fucking elf news. You don't need to wait for me. I, I, I prefer if you did, though. I probably shouldn't be advocating not watching my videos. Um, that's a bit stupid of me. But keep watching. I need a piss. You don't need to share everything on the internet. I'm just saying. Like... I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore that she overshares. All she ever fucking does is overshare. What surprised me even more than that, though, is that she didn't just piss herself. We all know she's inclined to just let her bodily functions win. Also, Elphaba, you're in your house. Just go have a piss. It will take you a second. There's so much wrong with this clip, man. That Elphaba needs to be studied. She's a fucking social experiment. She's not real. And the signal is pissing me off. It's making me angry because I can't see can you see me because i'm seeing yellow thing and it's annoying how much money do you make off tiktok Elphaba? from i've heard from sun sources like 10k a month you can afford a new wi-fi router you could afford a better data plan stop fucking complaining you want to come on tiktok live so much pay for it we know you can afford it booking.com has taken over two thousand no sorry over four thousand pounds of my money i booked once booked once for my mum they took it I booked again. They took it. They didn't complete the booking. They took it. I have no doubt that this is a fucking lie from Elphaba in order to get money from TikTok donations. A, we know she likes to lie. B, we know if there was a problem concerning money, she'd be straight on the fucking phone to customer service. All she ever does is send food back to get money back. Like, I have no fucking doubt this is a ploy to get fucking money from TikTok donations. Also, can we just talk about Marie, her fucking mother, saying, please don't shout. I don't blame her. It's two in the fucking morning. I'd be fuming as well. But you're the mother. You're the parent, Marie. You know your child's a fucking idiot. You want, you want to stop shouting? Do something about it. She's going, please stop shouting. Also, maybe if you didn't raise a fucking moron who's so desperate for attention she'd come on the internet and just complain about stuff she could fix this wouldn't be happening this is on you marie i seriously hope alpha because you many sleepless nights in the future like alpha's mother pissed me off to like a whole other extent she's done so much i've seen so much of it like as it comes out nowadays because i haven't always been on like tiktok live sort of tiktok for you page shit now i'm seeing it more i really want to make a video on her so uh m maybe maybe in the future because uh i, I saw Katie Clism did a video on Elphaba's mum, and I don't really want to just rip her off, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll wait a while on that one, maybe. I'll just go home, because I'm in the public eye as well. I'm a famous TikToker, and I've got, I was in the comfort of my own home. The dentist have called me an infection in my tooth, which I think has spread. Are you recording us? So it's actually no, illegal to record in I'm not, re I'm, I'm not recording. I've got the camera on myself. Look. Okay. Can you, call, you can't record down here. On the I'm not recording. I'm, I'm just live. I'm talking on my thing. I'm working. It's my job, darling. No one's recording you. I'm working on TikTok. I'm a big TikToker. Roots. I'm here. I'm All right. Coming back to Chelsea Lee Art real quick. There's a lot to unpack in this clip. First off, she's so desperate to get higher in the rankings for this TikTok live fest thing that she's re she's recording herself in A&E. What the fuck, man? Like, come on. 
it, there's some things you don't need to live stream. That's like me making a commentary video on my colonoscopy. Like, no one fucking gives a shit. No one needs to know. Second off, she's literally breaking the rules. The doctor is like, oh, you can't record in here. For obvious fucking reasons. Like, there's going to be people there that are they're in vulnerable states. They don't want to be live streamed on a middle-aged woman's TikTok live where she's fighting against a literal 20-year-old. And then, finally, she calls this her job. She says she's working. This is not your fucking job, love. You need to get a real job. Stop scrounging off TikTok donations and benefits, please, Chelsea the Art. Get a job and stop using an on a social media as your as your crux as your job. It's not. You're not. You're, you're not making a livable wage. I say that she probably fucking is. Much like Elphaba, I've heard she's making insane stacks like through the through the influencer grapevine. Ugh, I hated saying that the, the influencer grapevine, the commentary channel grapevine. I hate saying that, but it's true. It, it's how stuff like gets out about these fucking stupid TikTokers. We all talk and we all fucking gossip about them. Moving swiftly on from what I just said because it gave even me the ick, this TikTok live festing gave us one more bit of juicy controversy for Alphaba. Turns out, TikTok is protecting her. So before we wrap up, let's quickly take a look at that live stream. And I've been selected by TikTok um, themselves. My agent on TikTok has um, put me on this championship um, podium. Whoever is Alphaba's agent is not getting paid enough. Fuck me. The amount of fires he has to put out and bullshit he has to deal with. Then again, maybe he doesn't deserve to be paid well because she's always in controversy. He's clearly not a good, very fucking Asian because he's, he's never fucking keeping her safe. He's always letting her do stupid shit. Or maybe it's all a ploy. Maybe it's all a play. Maybe he's told her to do stupid shit. I don't know. I'm getting too far into Elphaba conspiracy theories for this shitty commentary slop video. Because TikTok um, has selected me for it. And they said, you can do this, etc. Et <laughs> Heard that right? TikTok is outright saying, yes, Elphaba, please keep up your bullshit. And I don't even blame them for, like, putting her higher up, because they're bringing people to her site. They're bringing people to their site. It's, it is what it is, you know. Engagement's always going to win out in the end. I'm protected by TikTok. And there's the words themselves. She's being protected by TikTok. As I said before, don't blame them. They need her on the site. They're going to accommodate her because she brings engagement. Then again, who even knows if this is true? We're never going to have a confirmation until TikTok comes out and says, yes, we are protecting this creator. We are keeping her on the site. Because for now, it could just be another famous elf for lie. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if in a few days it comes out she is bullshitting. <clears throat> You're so full of yourself. Oh, my God. Uh, no, not really. I'm full of love. You made a 19 minute live stream slandering a man. You used an autistic boy for views and to get yourself out there. You're overall a horrible person. You argue with people on the internet over nothing. You defrauded people out of money. You said that you were going to give someone money and you didn't when you found out they supported someone you didn't like. I could go on forever and ever. Alphaba, you are not someone full of love. You are an asshole. You are objectively a bad person. You are objectively full of yourself. Accept it. And with that my trilogy of videos on Elphaba is completed. Am I done with making Elphaba videos? For now, yes, but only time will tell when I come back because we all know she's going to fuck up again and you best believe I'm going to be ready to milk the views. So if you do want to see that video when it inevitably releases, click my face which you can see on the screen now to subscribe and if you want to watch another video, you can click the video opposite that to see something YouTube recommends you. Let me know in the comments of that video if you liked it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.